Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today, you guys, I'll be cooking. Um, this is, what time is it? Uh, let's check. It is 2.54. The kids will be home soon. So, I'm cooking them their after school meal. And this is just what, uh, me and my family do for our kids because usually they eat lunch at school at around 11 so by the time they come home they are hungry yes we do put aside a budget for our girls for uh their meals for um after school so no today is not um a big one and Probably in another video or maybe this one once I'm done doing what I need to do because I am going to be doing dinner and cooking the girls their after school meal which for their meal today is a meatless it's a meatless meal so uh, the every other day they've been having meat so today is uh, I believe it's Tuesday yeah so Tuesday is no meat days um, so I'm going to be taking you and showing you guys um, what we're, well, what I'm going to be making for the kids for today. So I'm going to prop you guys up a little bit better. That way you guys can see uh, the kitchen. Yes, I have on uh, my kitchen apron and it comes built in with a towel because I love those type of aprons and they work for me. So it is a very hot day today. So I do have my drink today. And I'm gonna be making macaroni and cheese with some mixed vegetables on the side and some unsweetened applesauce. That's what they're going to be having for their after school meal. They may have a pudding cup or a jello with this. I am not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some oil in the pot, some olive oil in my pot. And I'm also going to uh, be putting some salt in it too, just to give that pasta because it's so bland some flavor so bear with me you guys one second uh okay so i'm gonna pour in about a tablespoon of olive oil hopefully you guys can see a tablespoon of olive oil Boom shakalaka. And I'm just going to, uh, this is what I keep my salt in. I have one up there for pepper, but I'm out of pepper. So it's just a crystal dish that I keep uh, salt and pepper in. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in. Um, about two, two little pinches of salt. Don't over season it because the, uh, cheese mixture stuff is already salty. So let me get my spoon. And this is just my handy dandy, uh, stirring spoon. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So like I said, the girls um, should be home any minute. But who knows? I just got to make sure that I have their meal ready. And then we're going to go ahead and get some couch talk. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's just time to chat on the couch. And I'm going to open up 
this can of mixed vegetables as well um, as the applesauce. And yeah, you guys, that's gonna be their after school meal. So sorry if the light is coming in a window too bright. It is, um, we just haven't decided on the window treatment since we got our kitchen redone. We haven't decided on a window treatment that we want it. So, I think somebody commented. I didn't see. So, if you guys commented, please comment again. I just didn't see, and I'm truly sorry. I'm just trying to rush before the girls get home. So, oh, they're here. So, oh, hold on, you guys. Gotta go unlock the door. Okay, so I'm gonna stir my pasta just so uh, they don't stick together. Uh, excuse me. Uh uh. Out. Out. I'm already preparing you guys something. Don't come. Okay. So that's going. Oh, I need a sip of my drink, y'all, because I am tired, Lord. Hi, honey. So. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, so. I have uh, the vegetable can open. So, these vegetables, when you buy them in a can, truthfully, they are uh, already cooked. So, I'm just going to go ahead and nip this in the microwave. I'm then going to go ahead and uh, put a little salt, a little bit of salt on them, as well um, as a little bit of butter inside. So... I'm going to do about two pinches of salt because I like to get canned goods with uh, no salt added. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. And I'll put the butter in once it comes out of the microwave. So, now that that is done, I'm going to wait for the macaroni to get done, and then I'm going to go ahead. I'm sorry that you guys cannot see me. I am just like all over the place right now. So, anyways, you guys, I'm going to wait for the macaroni to get done, and uh, the vegetables... And then we're going to go ahead and plate it up. And you guys are going to see what my kids uh, get for their after school meals. And then once the macaroni is done, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven um, on broil. On low broil so I can go ahead and do my lasagna. And... Um, 
I'll be making, I'm actually gonna be making two pans, but um, one, I'm just gonna layer it in the pan, put the noodles down, the meat sauce, the cheese, and then I'm gonna freeze it. I'm not gonna bake it. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it. So when it's time, when it's another time when I'm gonna make it, um, then I just take it out and throw it in the oven, and then dinner is done. So, but I am gonna cook one pan tonight for dinner and we're gonna have some French bread with that. Um, not sure if we're gonna have a salad or not. I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> so I've been like doing stuff, trying to clean up and everything. It's just been a whole mess today. <sighs> I, Mama needs some coffee right now, you know? I need some coffee. I didn't have coffee this morning. That's why I feel, you know, so weighed down and tired. But I do have my uh, refreshing juice. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead. I have my fan on right here too because it is super hot and a mama can tell. I need some shorts. Have like shorts. Top. Look, like they have you, uh, long knees. Okay, we'll figure that out. Okay, we'll figure this out when your mom gets home. Okay. What you what you'll be taking for you for the day? So I'm gonna turn this back up just to get this macaroni going a little faster. And then, in this pot, I don't have it. Oh, you guys can't see it anyway. Sorry about that. Okay, so, I have the macaroni going in this pot. And then this pot, my, my this is my biggest pot. I call it my uh, medium stock pot. And with this pot, I'm going to be doing my ground beef and my meat sauce in here. Um, I always put my pasta noodles, I'll show you. I always put uh, my presto lasagna noodles in raw. I mean, I don't like mushy noodles, so if you cook them and then you bake them in the oven, they will get mushy. I don't like that texture. I like for mine to taste like it came from a restaurant, so yeah. So the macaroni is boiling now. Jana, can you come get the strainer? Yeah, because I believe it's done now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this can of applesauce. Can you make this forget? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that... Um, we uh, did Apollo last night. If you guys don't know what Apollo is, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what Apollo is. But um, we played the game Showtime at the Apollo. Everyone auditioned. We had guests over. And it was so amazing, you guys. Like, they were so much fun. We thought that if we did it by ourselves, you know, it would be a little boring. But it actually wasn't. It was uh, so much fun. Like, I give praise to my my friend and her daughter for coming over, and we just had a blast. It was funny. Um, so everyone was singing. Um, of course, my friend's daughter, she has pipes, you guys. To be a young child, when I say that she can sing, she can sing to be a young girl. Her mom didn't do too bad either. Okay, like they were on their game. But yes, her daughter did win because we don't sing like that. But yes, her daughter did win. It was such a fun time. If you guys are watching, we appreciated you guys coming over. We had a blast with you guys and we hope that we can do it again real soon because it was so much fun. So, my microwave just stopped. 
Um, I got to put this applesauce in a bowl. And I don't have a bowl. Mama's going to panic. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the macaroni drained off. Okay, so I'm going to be pouring the milk in. Even though it's boxed macaroni, I do like to spruce it up to make sure it tastes like at least a little bit homemade. Sorry. So I'm going to put in a tablespoon. I'm putting in a tablespoon of butter. To mix in. Go ahead and get your mama the cheese. What kind? Um, what? cheddar. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm putting in the powder mix. I really like using my own mixture instead of this powdered stuff. But right now I don't have any heavy whooping cream or sour cream. So, I'm just doing it uh, my own way. So I'm doing about two handfuls of uh, mixed cheese. It is a cheddar and a mozzarella blend mix. And so we're gonna go ahead and Blend this up with that butter in there. That way we can get it well blended. Okay, so my perm is blended. Here, Jana, put this back for me, please. And I need a bowl. I'm gonna throw it this way. Let me see if I got a bowl. Nope, no bowl. No bowl. Nope. Can you wash me a bowl, please? For the applesauce. And I'm gonna also uh tablespoon of butter and put it in the mixed vegetables right now and because it's so uh it has a ton of water in the bottom i'm going to add about another pinch of salt So, this is uh, what my wife had uh, bought me for Mother's Day with a bunch of other things. She bought me those uh, crystal salt and pepper things, which um, it's, it's dying, but I do have it um, in one of my jars that I use. It's like one of those... Um, old-fashioned like milk jug bottles or whatever you want to call them but I've been having it sitting in my kitchen window so it can get um, a little bit of sunlight so oh you found a bowl 
Someone going to get these vegetables stirred up with the butter melted throughout them. So, I'm going to let the butter sit in that heat. I'm also going to wipe down my counter. So I just wiped off my counter and you guys, that is how I do my after school meal. So I'm going to plate it up and let you guys see it right now. So sometimes we'll have um, bread or something, but we just got to get to the grocery store, y'all. You got your apron on? And they'll have um, a bunch of leftovers for another day. Okay, so here is my youngest daughter's plate. Let me uh, pick y'all up so y'all can see. Here is her plate. And like I said, say hi, hi to honey. honey. Okay, so here's your plate. Go sit down and eat, please. Um, so I gotta go ahead and make two more plates. And then we're going to go ahead and have some rest time on the couch and some air, some AC. And then we're going to come in. We're going to cook dinner. So this is our pretty much day in a life live. That's what it is. Day in a life live. And this is our after school slash evening routine. So... So I'm gonna make, come on you guys. And I don't have after school lunch with the girls at all. I only eat like in the morning, I'll have some like granola and then um, get a plate, one plate. What's well, too late? I got some nice plate right here. No, you're gonna keep the plate you have. We don't get time for that picky stuff. Go. Put the plate down. So Um, usually like I'll have some bread with peanut butter or something like that from, that I got from Winko. Um, I got some high roasted peanut butter and I usually like eat that. You want vegetables? you can get more. Okay, so let's go ahead and have some sit down talk time. And I love truly, the mac and cheese. Truly tired. Whew. Oh, 
Okay, so the girls are eating. Um, how do I know? Okay, so the girls are eating, and um, I still have to cook dinner. Like I said, I am tired. When I say I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. I tried to take a nap for about, I say about at least two hours today, but my wife ended up calling me, so I only got to sleep for about at least 30, maybe to 45 minutes. It wasn't even a full hour because it was in the same hour from when I fell asleep to when I woke up. So, let me cut out the glare. So, yeah, like like I said, when I uh, when I woke up, and I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I can't see you guys. Uh, Shani, give me a box, please. I have to see them. Or give me that thing, please. That big podium thing. Because, so I can talk to you guys because I can't see you guys for uh, anything right now. Yeah. Sorry if I'm all over with this camera, y'all. Come on, girl. Any slower, I'm gonna be a grandma. Put it down on the floor. Girl, what's wrong with you? Clearly, you don't know. So, yeah, you guys, sorry about that. I'm burning up, and this little ass AC isn't doing anything for me right now. Nothing. And then I have on a damn jumpsuit, a jogger suit. It's so hot. But so as I was saying, the reason why are you okay? Oh, like I said, the reason why I do make the girls um, their uh, their meal for um, after school. Is because, like I said, they eat at 11. Um, but this week for my youngest, her school is not providing lunch anymore to the kids. I don't know why. Um, they're just um, not having it. Um, you can't pay for it or anything. So they're not having any more lunches. I, I just don't understand that. But, okay, so she's been taking her own lunch every day, but they do eat at around like 11 or so, and by the time they come home from playing and things like that, they are super hungry, so what I did was I created my grocery list, and I came up with um, a budget for me to be able to provide meals for my kids instead of all those high price snacks that they have out there that's full of sugar, I'd rather give my kids um, a nutritious meal for them to eat. And um, yeah, like a nutritious meal for them to eat and you know, for them to stay full longer until I prepare dinner. Usually I'll prepare dinner around five or six or so so I like to have um, and see from 11 to around six that's too long for a kid to go without eating and just an apple and a pack of crackers is not gonna work for my kids I have growing kids who um, do athletic things and things like that so they're always hungry they're growing and they need that uh, nutrition so that's why I decided to make a budget. If you guys want to know the budget that I use for uh, my meals for the girls 
to make sure that they have a, a meal every day after school and that's not including the budget for um, the regular household or um, sorry that does I'm looking out the window but that doesn't include the budget for the household or like breakfast lunch or dinner like on the weekends or um, you know like things like that um, and yes they do get a full meal I try to have like some type of fruit even if it's a canned fruit or a fresh fruit um, with something that's really heavy for them to uh, for them to eat um, also um, the meals that I do make are frugal there are they're in a frugal uh, price band I should say I'll just go ahead and break it down for you guys, okay? So, hmm? hold on. So, I'm gonna give you guys the price breakdown for today's meal, okay? So, for their macaroni and cheeses, I know you guys seen the box of those macaroni and cheeses. If not, go rewind it to the beginning of the video and you guys can uh, see where uh, I showed you guys the macaroni and cheese. Those macaroni and cheeses are, uh, they're four, four dollar. And yeah, they're four, four dollar. And um, I use two boxes, so that's about 50 cents. And the other, uh, the canned applesauce, and the mixed vegetables were donated to me. Um, I don't pay for any canned goods really, except maybe corn because I don't get that donated to me. And yes, I get it donated to me about every month or so, or every week, or every week, sometimes every two weeks, or every month in like a big bulk. So where if I paid for it, it'd be around a hundred dollars for the canned food that I buy. And um, yeah, so I say that the the lunch that they had today was 50 cents, and I'm proud of that. This is a no-meat meal, so today is Tuesday, so they had a no-meat meal. Um, Tomorrow, uh, I'm trying to think what they're going to have tomorrow, because last week, we didn't do a meal yesterday because we were busy that's that's what it was we were busy for one two some of the girls had already came home with something to eat as well and um last week i know they had fish sticks they had sandwiches what else y'all had oh And it had like yogurt, juice, carrots, and something else. It wasn't macaroni. Yeah, y'all had macaroni and fish sticks one time. Oh, and the fish sticks that I buy, I buy a, a box of like 30-something fish sticks. And they do get three fish sticks each. Um, and they were a dollar per box, and I stocked up on them. Um, they come from my, dollars, my local dollar store. Um... What else, you guys? I'm not sure. But I can't remember. Spaghetti. Oh, they did have spaghetti. They had, which I had no meat spaghetti. Huh? We have, yeah, we had that And then we had Asian rice. Meat. Oh, yeah, they did have um, an egg. Asian rice. They had a, a, a stir fry rice with egg and mixed vegetables in it. And that was really good. Um, they had spaghetti one day, um, because the pasta noodles are donated to me, so I use one pound of ground beef. Not those. Oh, yeah, I did get those from Winko, but they were super cheap. Um, I know Friday they have spaghetti coming up again, but they have it, uh, with the 
because I used the tortellini shells for their last macaroni, which was not good to me, but the girls liked it, so they ate it, and uh, yeah. So, um, I'm not going to do the cooking, the dinner cooking in this one because I'm already like 35 minutes in just from preparing the lunch and chatting with you guys. So, hopefully you guys can hear me. I have a fan right here. I have the air right here. It's hot. I don't even know why the front door is open at this point. But, um, I'm going to go back live right after this. So I can go ahead and show you how I prepare dinner. I'm going to cook up the ground beef with the pasta sauce. I'm going to pan it up. I'm going to pan once to go into my deep freezer for, uh, huh? For what? Oh, yeah, yeah, for the freezer. I don't know what where my mind goes. When I'm talking to you guys, but it sure isn't on what the subject is, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to make one for the freezer, so I'm not going to put it in the oven and cook it first. I'm going to just put it together, throw it in the freezer, inside the aluminum pan with some foil on top. I'm going to write the date on it, and uh, I'm going to write the date on it, and I'm going to put what it is, and I'm going to throw it in a freezer. That way for um, a day if I'm running late, if I have things to do, um, that would be a meal that I can just throw into the oven and set it and forget it. That's how easy I want my life to be. So that's how I'm doing it, you guys. We are doing this day by day. Last night I made some banana, um, banana bread. See? You see what I mean? I made some blueberry loaves. I had to make a third one because they just smashed through the first two. And we had company too, so we had blueberry bread. We did Apollo night. It was so much fun. Um, so we did have bread left over. So the girls for breakfast before they left the school. Two of the girls had cereal. One had, because uh, she stays later. And her school isn't providing breakfast or lunch. So uh, she had breakfast. She had eggs, uh, bacon, and what else? Yeah, bacon, eggs, and a blueberry bread that I baked last night. I had to end up making an extra loaf for breakfast today. And then my wife took her breakfast and lunch to uh, work today. Bacon, eggs, and blueberry loaf bread. And orange juice. And orange juice. Yes. Yeah? Oh. Your whole? Well, you gotta wash your backpack then. So, for lunch today, my daughter took. Did your teacher heat it up? So, my daughter took ravioli for lunch today. Um, we. Uh, we tried to jazz it up. We put uh, some cheese on it. Um, what else did you take with it? You took a pudding cup. A chocolate pudding cup. You took two pickles. Did you take a Jello? A Jello drink? No. Okay. I took a trail mix. That was it. I don't think she remembers. But um, tomorrow, you guys should be taking um, yeah, should be taking lasagna left over from dinner tonight. And good thing about that school, even though they are not providing lunches. Um, you can't send your kid with the homeschool, I mean, a homeschool, a homemade meal, and they'll be more than happy to heat it up and accommodate your child with warm meals, um, just because, um, you know, they aren't providing lunch. So, yeah, tomorrow should be taking lasagna, um, 
I don't know what we're having for dinner tomorrow. I think we're having a... I think we're having orange chicken and stir fry rice. That's what I think we're having for tomorrow. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But we will do a live video for tomorrow's dinner too. So I'll be doing live dinners. And um, if you guys want me to do it, I might. I may make, um, instead of my uh, Bonnet Girl and Bonnet World, I might make um, a video dedicated to my dinners and meals and how I prepare meals for um, how I prepare meals for the girls after school and give you guys a prize for every meal that I make. I don't want to spend over 75 I don't spend over $75 for their meals for the whole month. If it's over $75, I just take stuff off because I have tons of stuff in my pantry, all in my cabinets, um, that I can make meals. I'm, I'm one of those persons, like, that I can make a meal out of anything. Like, I can have two eggs, you know, a can of chicken, and um, some mayo, mustard, relish, and make, you know, some chicken salad sandwiches or... Things like that. If I only have tuna, I'll make some tuna and crackers for um, a meal. Sorry about that, you guys. My daughter bumped it. But, um, yeah. So, comment down below if you guys are interested, rather, in my new channel, Bonnet Girl and Bonnet World, or, uh, I don't know, my thumb. or uh, would you guys want to see... Uh, would you guys want to see me do um, the everyday cooking videos of my dinners and uh, the after school snacks or um, just a live day in a life? Because that's what the Bonnet Girl and Bonnet World is. Just um, vlogging on my day in a life versus just doing like mukbangs. Well, it was dedicated to mukbangs, but I decided to just keep them on this channel because... We're all going to start doing mukbangs on this channel. So not all will you only see me all the time. You will see the girls um, in videos by themselves doing mukbangs and things like that. So, yeah, you guys. That's pretty much it. So I gave you guys the gist of it. So go ahead, comment down below, you guys. Um, what, what do you guys want to see? For uh, my my new channel, either my daily vlogs, or do you guys want to see me do the cooking videos um, of the cheap after school meals? Give you guys ideas and what you guys might want to eat for after school meals or things like that to you guys' parents, things whatever like that. Um, they only have what two weeks of school left. Almost about a week and a half. Yeah, because it's Tuesday. You have a y'all have about a week and a half left to school. And whew, we got a graduation coming up. So honey said that she wants to see the after school meals and the dinners. Okay, honey. We might do that. And I think that I might have the girls diff on different days as my helpers. What do y'all think about that? Do you yes. agree with that, honey? I want to do it tomorrow again. Are you going to help me with dinner tonight? Oh, yeah. So, we're going to go. Hopefully, you guys come and watch our dinner uh, thing and get an idea. Um, she said, she say, yay, not hey. So, you guys can get a gist of what's going down for dinner tonight. You guys know what we're doing. This way, you, get to guys, you guys get to know how we make it and how we prep for our dinners and what we eat, okay? So, we are a family of five, yes. And yeah, we, we like to do things a little bigger that lasts a little longer, but for the cheaper price. You don't have to go to big company stores like uh, Costco and things like that. So, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna take you on a journey on a budget. Okay, 
So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If so, go ahead and smack that thumbs up button and share this video. And my battery is dying, so I gotta get y'all on a charger. Just a and um, okay. And uh, okay. yeah. So, so for if you guys are new here, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you guys are uh, old people, old people. What am I talking about? If you guys are returning viewers, thank you guys for watching again and being loyal subscribers. Um, we will be having a giveaway coming up uh, soon. Probably not in the video for tonight. Uh, well, we might do it next week. We're going to do a giveaway next week. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do a, a giveaway next week. And it's going to be $25. So, if you guys want to enter to win that, all you guys have to do is click that like button, be subscribed to the channel, and comment down below your favorite part of this video. This video right here. Okay? So, yeah. To be entered for that giveaway, subscribe, comment, like this video, and you'll be entered to win a $25. So, we'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.